Here we will see menu control in ASP.NET. Menu is a navigation control in ASP.NET which is used to display menu in web page. The content for the menu control can be specified directly in the control or the menu control can be bound to a data source. It displays two types of menu, static menu and dynamic menu. Static menu is always displayed in menu control. By default, only menu items at the root levels are displayed. Dynamic menu is displayed only when the user moves the mouse pointer over the parent menu that contains a dynamic submenu. The main class for menu is system.web.ui.webcontrols.menu. Menu control supports the following features. The data binding feature of menu control allows the controls menu items to be bound to hierarchical data sources. It provides site navigation through integration with the sitemap data source control. It provides programmatic access to the menu object model to dynamically create menus, populate menu items, set properties and so on. It gives customizable appearance through themes, user-defined images, styles and user-defined templates. The menu can be created using the design section by dragging and dropping the control from the ASP.NET toolbar window or it can also create from the markup section using the following code. First ASP tag, then menu ID and run at server. Different properties of menu controls are First is ID which is used to get or sets the programmatic identifier assigned to the control. CSS class property is used to get or sets the cascading style sheet class rendered by the web server control on the client. Data source ID indicates the data source to be used. Items property gets a menu item collection object that contains all menu items in the menu control. Text property indicates the text to display in the menu. Tooltip indicates the tooltip of the menu item when mouse hover. Value indicates the non-displayed value. Navigate URL indicates the target location to send the user when menu item is clicked. If it is not set, you can handle the menu item click event to decide what to do. Selected item property is used to get the selected menu item. Selected value property is used to get the value of selected menu item. If navigation URL property is set, target property indicates where to open the target location. Selectable property is set as a true or false. If this property is set to false, then this item can't be selected. Usually it is used if this item has some child items. Image URL indicates the image that appears next to the menu item. Image tooltip indicates the tooltip text to display for the image next to the item. Popout image URL indicates the image that is displayed right to the menu item when it has some sub items. Different styles of menu controls are Static menu style which is used to set the style of parent box in which all menu items appears. Dynamic menu style sets the style of parent box in which dynamic menu items appears. Static menu style sets the style of individual static menu items. Dynamic menu item style sets the style of individual dynamic menu items. Static selected style sets the style of selected static items. Dynamic selected style sets the style of selected dynamic item. Static hover style sets the mouse hovering style of the static item. And dynamic hover style sets the mouse hovering style of the dynamic items. Different events for menu items are Data binding which occurs when the server control binds to a data source. Data bound event occurs after the server control binds to a data source. Disposed event occurs when a server control is released from memory which is the last stage of the server control lifecycle. Init event occurs when the server control is initialized which is the first step in lifecycle. Load event occurs when the server control is loaded into the page object. 
Menu item click event occurs when a menu item in a menu control is clicked. Menu item data bound event occurs when a menu item in a menu control is bound to a data. Pre-render occurs after the control object is loaded but prior to rendering. And unload event occurs when the server control is unloaded from memory.